Hi guys and welcome back to Arena Tryharding. This is the third episode of the Rogue Run. Uh, my name is Nimsh and I'm here with uh, a fun rogue deck. And unfortunately, I didn't get that many rogue cards, but uh, I got Dark Iron Skulker and that matters. And the card is so good that I will actually keep it in my opening hand. Uh, because most of the games when I play it, I actually win. Well, actually, it's 50-50. I won one <laughs> without it. Alright, uh, do I mulligan it? Like, I really want my 3-drop and 4-drop. Um, and this is a 4-drop, though. But not the best 4-drop. And I don't have Deadly Poison. That's why this is not the best card. But I think Skulker is a, ca a combat card. So I will keep the Skulker here. This is also a test. Because I think Skulker is, is so good. Deals to damage to or un undamaged minions. From our opponent. And Trusty Lepernone comes again <laughs> to open the series. We're playing versus a different Warlock. Uh, last time in the last episode, the Warlock wrecked me. And that was a really interesting game, so you can go and watch it. Because it's, it's uh, sorry for the spoiler, but the game was super fun. And I was able to uh, get the Raptor on the Lepernone. But this game versus Warlock, I, I, I don't know. I, I actually never know what to expect from, um, from Warlocks. Okay, uh, I think that Dire Wolf actually is pretty nice. Um, I would consider a weapon, if not for... I, I could not play Demolisher here. He can get the, the Wind Fury and kill some stuff. So I think Dire Wolf or Alpha is one of those tempo cards I really want to pick from time to time. So Lepernome taking care of, um, of a free drop that he played with the coin. And we still have uh, a lot of power on board. Demolisher will be nice next turn. Uh, well, not the best. But it's oh, okay. I think the Bolisher is still great. <laughs> Raptor is great though as well. So what do I go for? I can have. I think because we clear the board, the Bolisher will be a bit better, and it's it will have two attack as well. So let's clear this guy. Go with the Demolisher. Raptor is a nice creature. It will have four attack, but the Bolisher can deal two damage to a minion, especially because Acolyte is out of the way now. <laughs> I don't expect the second Acolyte from the Warlock. So this might be a very fast game. Implosion for two. Unfortunate for our friend here. Doing one of the imps. And <laughs> we get the Warhorse. Uh, and I think Warhorse is the card. Um, unless I go for the weapon. And the Raptor. <laughs> That's a, a tough one. Alright, I think we will go for like full face. So please, Armored Warhorse. Can you succeed at least once? Not really. It's not green, so it didn't succeed. And we are open to... Suddenly, we're open to Hellfire. So maybe that wasn't the best choice. Alright, 5-6. Warhorse can trade into it. But how much damage do we have? This is 7-8 damage with uh, Commander. It might be, a, might be a good hit here. Commander can also deal with her. Next turn I'll have 7 mana. Alright, I think Commander is actually... Commander dealing with the Pit Fighter will be the best. I'm open to some weird shenanigans, like I'm open to AoEs basically, right? I'm open to Hellfire, I'm open to a possible Shadow Flame, I'm open to Mind Control Tech. I'm open to winning this game because we wrecked this guy! And that's the rogue deck, guys. That's the rogue deck. I I'm not even sad about not having Eviscerates because they don't know it. My opponents don't know I, ha I don't have Eviscerates. I know it, I don't care. I I okay, I do care kinda a bit. So, again, I'll try to have Og uh, Stalker. I need more 2-drops. We're playing versus Rogue. Uh, his name is Mark. Uh, no Paladins so far, so I don't know if that's lucky or not. Paladins, I think Paladins are the best class as well. I agree with everyone. And I've seen some runs. The is mine. Oh, Pit Snake. Uh, but Pit Snake is terrible versus Rogue. I, I, I literally seen some... Dude, do I go for it? Do I like, go for my Gildan Stalker here? I guess. Weapon next turn is fine. So I've seen some runs that people reported where they took Paladin and then for the first five games they faced Paladins. <laughs> like six Paladins in that arena. But no Paladins here. We had the Paladin runs. Oh, great! Great! Nothing on his side. So I also create a weapon and just go for face. Get some face damage. If he has a backstab, can't do much about it. But I have my free drops. I'm happy with them. Perfect. So our small dude is able to deal even more damage. And uh, we got an ooze. Wow. Okay. So what can I do here? It's it's quite quite it's quite fun to play ooze into snake because this will mean he has to create a weapon which will block his four drop, and then like like we will need to create a weapon to kill the pit snake. So I think that's kind of fun. 
And I, I might do it. Like, this is a really nice weapon. This is a, a great tempo loss. Like, alternative is an Aug Brute, which doesn't do much. And alternative is a Dread Corsair, which is uh, worse mm. than Brute. So I think uh, killing his weapon and going for the Snake is quite fun here. And quite a good play. And he did show us that he doesn't have a 2-drop. So what if I just force him to, to make a weapon? It's like, oh man, I just make a weapon, kill the Pit Snake, and then attack with Aug Brute. And the best target is obviously the 2 free, because then for me it's awkward to kill the 4 4. But if he hits face, I can easily deal with this. And if he hits the free 2, I can kill it with the weapon as well. So he had a shiv. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Alright, so he missed. Face is fine. It would probably be better to attack the free 2, because I still want to kill it. Um, yeah, I guess I kill it and play my. This is the best in curve, so I just, yeah, easy turn. Not much to discuss this turn. Just play whatever, get the Gilblins stealthed. Gilblins, by the way, I hope we get more of them in the next expansion in Hearthstone. Uh, that, um, that will probably come as soon as possible. Hopefully March or April. Because I would love to see, see more. And now, again, the, st the Skulker that we kept, I think this is the best, that, well, this is not the best, but this is a, a very good moment where with the Skulker I can deal with a 5-5, 4-4, uh, four, four, with a 5-drop, and press, press advantage. Keeping the weapon, I don't want to play the weapon yet. And then we have a 7-drop, we have an 8-drop, what about the 6-drop? This is pretty good for turn 6. Thank you. So Pillager and Ringleader. That's fine as well, and... Um, with this, I can go for my free drops. At first, I will play the Dead Cor Dread Corsair. I can also go for Smith, but I think those are absolutely fine. Really good cards. Now, kill the coin dude, because he's the big. Kill the 2-1. And I think I can go for face. Like, 2-2 two -two is not that great, and I, I need my tempo advantage. Um, Rogue can buff the minion, obviously. Like, he, have, he ha can have something like an oil. But uh, I think at this moment, face damage will be a bit better. So I'm trying to get those those tempo plays. That's what I hope will happen, right? Like, he will take damage with a weapon. And uh, he got a nice Augur there, and we got a War Golem instead. So War Golem is a bit better, unless we actually hit, then I'll have to trade. So let's see, what do we hit? Okay, we hit this guy, uh, which is annoying. As hell, I want to go face. 8 to face will be much better than this. But this means I will have to... I guess I can go for Kvaldir. 4 to face is also nice. And this guy doesn't actually kill the War Golem. Yeah, but I need to trade, unfortunately. Let's go Kvaldir. And uh, I can start dealing damage to face, I feel. He's already at 12. Uh, six should be fine. He has a lot of cards in hand. That's unfortunate. Oh man, that ogre! A 50-50! If it would go for phase, that would be so much better. Like having those two minions that are tough to deal with. Uh, eight to phase, so he'll be at like four or something. And then we slam... or five, we slam more golem. Burgle is okay, unless he gets a sap. Sap would be annoying. So many cards! He's at 12, but he still might be in a good position here. He was thinking about weapons, so maybe he got something like a deadly poison or... or tinker. Or oil. Six mana. Are you ready for this? Wow, that's great. He doesn't have anything? Like what? You what mate? <laughs> no beasts here. Okay. Well, I guess I go eight to face, like even nine to face. Here we go. And play a war um like a smith. Basically get him in range, if possible. Unless he kills me this turn with some weird eviscerate combo. Oh, nope! He died! Perfect! I, I don't know what he had in hand, guys! What did he even have? What did he even have in, in hand? Like, I don't know. What was his hand? Okay, so 5-1 for now with the rogue deck. It's going really good. And now Hunter, um, who is... Uh, I always... I don't like playing versus Hunters. Hunters are, are, are a bit weird. You have to uh, mind your health. But a 2-drop and a 3-drop are pretty nice. And it's going great so far. 2-3-4. Yes. I'm, I'm, I like it. I like it. Leopardome didn't come this time. 
The pleasure is mine. Uh, he's still there somewhere on the list. Let's see if he has a one drop. Because hunters, they are super aggressive, especially because of the hero power. Okay, he has a coin and a two drop. Target acquired. Oh, that's a nice two drop. So I'm happy that we have something like a ship's cannon that can actually survive the hit. <laughs> we need to deal with this guy though. I don't have the weapon. That's okay. That's okay. But I need to kill it with the weapon. So I'm kind of I'm losing my turn three because if I play Raptor, Raptor will just die to the hero power. But now he is he is turn three. So what does he have? You what, mate? That's ugly. It's a free mana five two. Oh man. Okay, I need to play my. Do I need to play my taunt now? Or do I just uh, get the damage the damage in? What should I do? So, so Gilblin can kill it next turn, but it's kind of like taking five damage. So it's probably better to not take that five damage for now at least. And not attacking with the weapon. Oh man, like Ice Rager. I don't know if that was like. If he actually deals with my free free with something like weapon or whatever, or like a spell, I'll take five damage to face and he gets tempo. Okay, that's fine. That's fine because we have a really good five drop that he cannot deal with. I still have my weapon. So now we still go one for one. Like nobody gain a gain advantage yet, and my minion is, is better for now, at least. On turn six, like this is turn seven, this is turn eight. Okay. If he just hero powers this turn, that's perfect. But if he plays a, b a good minion for 4 mana... Want that one? What do I do on turn 6? I guess I play my 4-4 four, four and a secret as well, dude! I do have to attack in your minion, you know that. Here we go. Okay, um, that's something. And now, what can be this? If that's a snipe, I need to play my stalker. Slippery. It's not a snipe. Enter the shadows. All right, let's uh, get, give itself. So I attack with a weapon. So I don't know. This can be this can be explosive trap. I know it's not snake trap. It can be explosive. It can be freezing. What else can it be? I can use my hero power, so it can be the the booby trap or whatever it is. Oh man, that's uh, good for him. Strength cards. Hopefully, it's not freezing trap, and I will be able to kill this four two for free. And get a nice weapon. Hmm. Please kill. No, it didn't kill it. It was a freezing trap. Damn it. So what do I do now? Hmm. Do I just play my war golem, and is that it? I can also make it a 4-2. But he can still draw cards and get secrets. Such combo. I have no charge. So, Kvaldir and a weapon. They die. Belcher. No 2-drop. Alright, we'll go, we're going, boys. I don't know how many freezing shops he has. But hopefully we're going creates a problem for him. Still minion trading, but the fact that he's drawing cards. Oh, man. Cult Master is so good. That doesn't look good, guys. That doesn't look good. And I'm I'm already super low. <laughs> Assassinate Raptor. Oh man, that might be the play because I need to kill this. I can swap stats, but it doesn't matter. So this is good in a way that he will not draw cards. At least. But now I'm at 16 and he can pull me to like 5 damage, to 11 this turn. And then it will be really tough to come back. I do have a ton though. And I have a really big minion as well. Is this a beast? It is a dead beast. It's getting hot in here. Flame Juggler is okay. That's fine. That's uh, kind of fine, I guess. More traps. Yeah, I need to come back on the back of Sludge Belcher and a horse. Well, horse is something. So let's see if I win the joust. Nope. Never joust, guys. Never joust. But I and that was a snipe, so the horse didn't even win, but it just died with the snipe. 
Okay, so at least that was semi-fine. <laughs> because the horse was dead anyway. Oh my god, that horse is just terrible. And he got that rum wronger what monkey. This is terrible. Why do I always finish a series in the loss? Hmm. Guys, do you believe we still have a chance? Can we still make it? Like, we're not dead yet. We would need a small beast to win this. Stat swap doesn't help. Six, uh, well, we do have a taunt. Stat swap doesn't help. He still has a secret. Six, seven, nine damage, and then we are just dead. So he can just go for face. There's no way to get a taunt. Hmm. It's not a beast. It's just a blank. It's a blank token. No way to draw the cards. Just miserable death. I, f I think, like, even if I keep Devil's Orb for the next turn, and get my Bloodfin Raptor, get a beast. It doesn't help as well. So, my only chance is if he somehow doesn't know how to play this game. And goes into... Um, into minions. And goes, goes into minion trading. And then I somehow come back on the miracles. Like, he might think about uh, Healbot. Oh, I'm just dead. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. Well played. Tough, tough. So um, a lot of things like okay, he didn't he didn't show me the last card, but uh, that was a, a, a never win versus hunters. I don't know why I, I can't beat hunter in arena. I don't understand how this class works. It just goes for face, and it's just like I think arenas are about trading, but hunters goes for face. So um, let's see actually what he played. Snipe. It doesn't matter that much. He just played okay cards. Like, deadly shot into the 7-7 seven, seven was quite deadly. <laughs> and the fact that he was able to come back with minions. So, he played really well. Nice deck. Okay, guys. That's it for today. Uh, we are still alive with the 5-2 score. So, hopefully, we'll continue being alive. And um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow.